Greetings, friends, and may divine blessings be with you always. The hour of 3 a.m. holds mystical power. It is a sacred time when heaven and earth converge in the stillness before dawn. As we prepare our hearts to pray at this potent hour, we continue the tradition of Psalm 91. This ancient prayer is a shield, a promise, a guiding light. When we lift up the names of loved ones in 3 a.m. prayer, we envelop them in divine protection. Engage by liking and sharing this video, that its message may reach and uplift more souls. For those who are new, subscribing connects you to powerful prayers and reflections like this. Open your heart as we delve into the 3 a.m. prayer. Let its words illuminate your path forward and sustain you through the day's challenges. The quiet moments before sunrise are a gift. This is when we center our minds, greet the divine, and set our intent for the coming hours. Join me as we experience the blessings of beginning your day with the transformative power of the 3 a.m. prayer. Its ripples will carry you forward with purpose, grace, and the unwavering protection of the heavens above. Holy and Righteous Father, as we begin this new day, many of us feel overwhelmed and uncertain of the path ahead. Our minds race with endless concerns, financial pressures weighing on our shoulders, conflicts fracturing our relationships, bad news feeding our anxieties. We grasp for control, yet life feels beyond our grip. Father, you understand the burdens we carry. You know the weariness that seeps deep into our bones. You see the tears we've cried into our pillows in the lonely night. You understand the struggles parents face trying to care for children but feeling lost themselves. You hear the unspoken cries of the depressed, lonely, and marginalized among us needing some flicker of hope. Our roads seem shrouded in fog, our footing unsteady. We long to trust that the sun will burn through the haze, but some days the darkness closes in. We hold our breath waiting for direction, praying our next step won't lead to disaster. Lord, calm our restless hearts. Open our eyes to see past the shadows, to recognize your presence walking before us, holding out your hand to guide us. Remind us that we do not tread this path alone. Lord, amid the clamor and chaos, we struggle to hear your gentle whisper. The world constantly calls out for our attention. Notifications ping, headlines blare, breaking news flashes. The demands of the day begin before our feet even hit the floor. Appointments cram our calendars, deadlines loom, emails pile up requesting urgent replies. We frantically try to respond to everyone and everything at once. Our devices offer constant connection, but disconnect us from what matters most. We grasp for the next distraction, scrolling endlessly, afraid of what feelings might arise in stillness. We pacify stress and loneliness with artificial means. Caught up in this dizzying frenzy, our time with you gets crowded out. Scripture reading becomes sporadic. Our prayers grow hurried and distracted. We try to schedule you into our overflowing days rather than centering each day around you. Forgive us, Lord, for letting busyness crowd out your presence. Renew our spirits so that we hunger for time alone with you. Help us quiet the noise and distractions vying for our attention each day. Remind us to be still and know you are God. Father, we realize our days are a precious gift from you. How we spend them matters. When we fill each moment with productivity and tasks without pause, we miss the point. We were created for more than accomplishing milestones and crossing things off lists. Our worth is not in what we achieve, but in who we are to you. In our rush to get things done, we overlook chances to show compassion. We ignore whispers urging us to reach out to someone in need. We say glib prayers rather than truly seeking your face. We treat time with you as just another box to check instead of nourishing our relationship. We defend our busyness, yet it leaves us depleted and disconnected from what's most important. Days slip through our fingers like sand. Time marches relentlessly on. We cannot get those moments back to spend in deeper ways. Lord, realign our priorities. Help us structure days around time with you rather than squeezing you into the gaps. Teach us to move through each moment prayerfully and mindfully, rather than always focused on the next task. Show us how to fully inhabit time and savor life as a sacred gift, beginning and ending each day with you. Almighty Father, in the profound silence of the early hours, our souls stir with a longing to connect with you. The Gospels paint a vivid picture of Jesus, 
our Savior, immersing himself in deep prayer even before the first light of dawn. This was not just a routine, but a poignant demonstration of his immense love for you. It teaches us to prioritize spiritual communion over the fleeting comforts of our beds, urging us to follow in his footsteps. Lord Jesus, your life serves as the epitome of spiritual discipline. Despite the weight of your ministry and the multitude seeking your attention, you consistently carved out quiet moments for prayer. This intentional act is a clarion call for us, beckoning us to find solace in the embrace of the Father. These early morning vigils, far from the din and distractions of daily life, are our sanctuaries, where we pledge our unwavering dedication to this enriching spiritual regimen. The hour of 3 a.m. is steeped in divine significance. It's reminiscent of the transformative moment when the Holy Spirit, in all its glory, descended upon the disciples, equipping them with unparalleled spiritual gifts. This hour, thus, becomes a portal, not just for seeking your guidance, Lord, but also for invoking the Holy Spirit's empowerment. We earnestly pray for its anointing to strengthen our resolve, illuminate our decisions, and fortify our spirits. The scripture is our replit with tales of desperate prayers in the face of adversity, Hannah's tearful supplications, David's heartfelt pleas amidst persecution, and your soul-wrenching prayer in Gethsemane, Jesus. In reason to pray at 3 a.m., especially when engulfed by life's storms, we lay bare our vulnerabilities, placing our utmost faith in your redemptive power. It becomes our solemn declaration that, come what may, you remain our anchor and refuge. The spiritual symbolism of this sacred hour resonates deeply within us. As 3 p.m. is etched in history as the moment of your unparalleled sacrifice, Lord Jesus, our 3 a.m. prayers become an echo of that boundless love. They serve as daily affirmations of our unshakable faith in the promise of resurrection, the dawn of a new hope, and the eternal life that awaits us. Moreover, our commitment to the 3 a.m. prayer bridges the chasm between contemporary Christianity and ancient monastic traditions. Those early Christian ascetics, in their quest for divine communion, crafted rigorous prayer routines as anchors to their faith. By embracing this tradition, we not only honor our spiritual heritage, but also fortify our connection to the timeless essence of our faith. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the light of this new day. As the sun rises, may the sun rise in our hearts as well. Teach us through Jesus' example that no matter how pressing our duties, communion with you must come first. Your son rose early to pray, fueling all he did through power from above. Prayer fortifies and anchors our days. Time spent in your presence is never wasted. Show us the sacredness of the pre-dawn hours, when the world is still and quiet. While others sleep, creation waits expectantly for the first light of dawn. Let us mirror that holy anticipation, yearning for alone time with you. Lord, help us cherish the 3 a.m. prayer not as an obligation, but as nourishment for our souls. Feed us the manna of your word in the stillness. Quench our thirst with the living water only you provide. Satisfy our deepest longings with your presence. We consecrate each new day by consecrating its first moments to you. Morning prayer grounds us in your grace before the cares of this world swirl around us. In the quiet solitude of early morning, we seek to hear your gentle whisper. Hear as we wait silently, speak, Lord, for your servants are listening. Drown out all distraction, that we may encounter you. As we reflect on Christ's resurrection, let his victorious, undying life rise up within us. Fill our hearts with praise and power to walk in newness of life. Now on bended knee, we lift this day and all it holds into your mighty hands, trusting you go before us. We step forward boldly, Christ's light burning within. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this sacred time spent together in prayer. As the close of our 3 a.m. hour draws near, we ask your blessings over each new day dawning. May the light of morning bring renewal to every heart open to receive your gifts. Let the radiance of down fill our lives with hope and scatter the shadows of night. Now may your protective peace envelop us through the hours ahead. May the words we've shared continue resonating long after our amen. Empower us to conquer each blessing and challenge this day holds. Illuminate our path with your living presence. Inspire our work by the wisdom of your spirit. We go forward boldly, with hearts anchored securely in you. You faithfully answer when we call. Lord, take these petitions lifted up and magnify them with your abundant power. Take our praises and multiply them so your glory shines bright. 
Friends, if this 3 a.m. prayer has touched your spirit, I encourage you to comment. I conquer my day with Jesus. Your words will bless others on this journey of faith. To you, Lord God, be all honor and praise, both now and forevermore. Amen.